Good morning, makers. Happy Monday. This is Michelle, and today's Maker Craft Live, we are going to be celebrating Morse Code Day, which is always April 27th. Um, so if you're not too familiar with Morse Code, basically what it is is way back in 1836, a man by the name of Samuel F. B. Morse and his uh, cohorts Alford Vale and Joseph Henry uh, decided to come up with a way to write to people using sound waves and magnets on a machine called a magnetic telegraph and they would send messages across the country. Uh, this was before the invention of the telephone. Um, it was a lot quicker than sending a letter. Uh, but it was an amazing invention and it's still used um, around the globe if you use like a ham radio um, Some people use it. However, it is now considered a dying art form uh, so we're going to celebrate it today by making a craft and um, What we're going to do is we're going to be making either what we call a bracelet if you want to or a Morse code keychain depending on what you want to do with it now, um, the supplies that you're going to need for this craft is you're going to definitely need a Morse code um, paper that tells you what the different uh, dots and dashes represent in the alphabet and also with numbers. Now, you can find uh, a, a ton of different kind of Morse code papers online. Uh, you can go into the image section of a, a search and you can just select one and print it, but you want to make sure you have it on hand so that you have the correct um, dashes and dots for your letters. You're also going to need at least three different colors of beads. Um, you're going to need one for your dots, one for your dashes, and one for your spaces. Uh, you're also going to need some scissors to cut your thread and I recommend an embroidery needle. You can use a metal one or if you have a plastic one, you just wanna make sure that it's able to clear through your bead. So you wanna make sure it's able to fit all the way through. Uh, we also have our thread and we're using this um, really thin yarn. And we're gonna decide what we want to do for our message today. Now, as I was playing around with this, I made a little bracelet one, and this actually spells out my name. That's Michelle with one L. So you can see that I have um, my green are gonna represent my dashes, my purple are gonna re represent my dots. And so this is a letter, and then I have a spacer, and then I have another letter. So anytime you see a blue, that's spacing between each individual letters. So for today, what I think we'll do is we're going to make a keychain and we're just going to spell out makerspace for today. So I have my thread ready and what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with a couple of spacers. So I'm going to put three spacer beads in there. So I'm going to start off with that and I'm just going to string it all the way through the end there. All right. so. For makerspace, I need to find, I need to make the letter M. So that's going to be two dashes. So I'm going to need two dash beads, which are my green colors. I'm going to go dash dash. And now that I have that on there, I need to put a one spacer bead. Remember, you need to put a spacer bead between each individual letter so that you know when um, what the letters are. If you have, if you don't have a spacer bead in between your dashes and your dots it's going to look all jumbled and it's not going to create the message that you're looking for. So we have our M. Now we need our A, which is a dot dash. So I'm going to put my dot bead and a dash bead. And I'm going to do a space. Okay. So I on K I need a dash, a dot, and then a dash. So this is a fun activity to do with the whole family. You can do your names, you can spell out secret messages to each other and leave them around the house. Um, it's also a fun activity to learn how to do Morse code. If you wanna send messages to your neighbors, you can use a flashlight to flash codes to them. Just don't do SOS unless it is an emergency. Um, so we have M-A-K. Now we need E. E is the easiest one. E is only one dot. 
Now there's a whole history of Morse code that you can find online if you want to do the research. It talks about how long you have to press the dot for a dot and a dash and how long you have to wait between spaces. It's, it's quite interesting how it was thought up. Uh, and a lot of this can be used internationally, so this alphabet can be recognized anywhere in the world. Um, there are some languages that do have some extra uh, Morse code for them, like if they have an accented uh, letter, they might have a different code for that. All right, so we have E, and we need to put a spacer bead. And we look for R. R is a dot dash dot. So we're going to do purple. Green. Purple. And then put a spacer bead. So we've got maker. Now space. So space is three S. It starts with three dots. So one two, three, I'm going to put a spacer bead on there. All right, so we got S. Now we need a P, so that's going to be a dot, dash, dash, dot, dot, dash, dash, dot and then a space. And A is a dot and a dash. Dot dash and then a space. And C is a dash dot dash dot. So we got dash, dot, dash, dot, and then a space. And then finally we have an E, which again, one of our easiest ones on here. I'm just going to put a dot, and then I'm just going to double check to make sure I have all my letters here. So I have dash dash M dot dash A dash dot dash, which is a K, E was a dot. Then we have a dot dash dot, that's an R. And we have dot dot dot, which is an S. We have a dot dash dash dot, which is a P. We have a dot and dash, which is A. We have a dash dot dash dot, which is C. And then we have a dot, which is E. So we have spelled out makerspace. So now all we need to do now is put in our last spacer beads. So we're going to do one two, three, and that way we know that's the end of our word. Now you can see this is pretty long. This could make a pretty good uh, bracelet, but we're going to turn it into just a really long keychain today. So what I have here is I have a little key ring, and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to thread this through. I'm going to try and make this as close to the end as possible. I don't want it to dangle too much. And then I'm just going to tie a quick knot through here. I'll do one more for good luck. All right quick and easy and fun. You can leave this hanging around the house. Say if you want to say I want to craft, you can make a sign that says I want to craft in beads. Or if you want to say hello to someone, this is a fun and easy way. Um, remember, 
You're going to need to find the Morse code um, in order to make sure you're doing it correctly. And any kinds of beads that you have around the house, you can use um, big beads, you can use small beads, um, or if you want, you can just leave coded messages too, it might be fun. You can leave um, kind of like uh, fill in the blank. You have all these different dashes to create words. You can do that. But I do encourage everyone to go out there and celebrate Morse Code Day and share a message with your neighbor. That's it for today. Hope you guys learned something new and have a new craft to do. Sorry, no toilet paper roll crafts this week, but next week we got something planned for you. We'll see you later. Have a great day.